So what would you tell the kids at home if they're wanting to get into a sheet metal career? Well, um, pay attention to geometry and trigonometry. It's important. Yeah. And, uh, use lots of rivets. Use lots of rivets. Hey, this is looking pretty sportly. Yep. Yeah. Should be uh, really uh, secure looking, isn't it? It's nice. Learned you can't have a big enough welding clamp either. Yeah. Oh, get big welding clamps. Yeah. Okay. Great for holding it together while you're screwing it. Good advice. For anyone. For anyone. Size matters. That's right. <laughs> the flashing on this chimney. And uh, we'll make it into a weather, weatherproof thing again. So here I'm... This crack, this cap is kind of cracked up here, but we're putting that great big flashing over top. So how I'm going to, which will hold it together for a very long time. How I'm going to do this is to bed it in, bed the flashing in, so that it comes around and uh, the flashing will sit on top of that in a relatively level manner. And then this mortar, when it gets squished down, will curl around and fill that gap in between the flashing and the and the uh, chimney yeah anyway we'll try that so we have the caps set on now you'll see we got one turned one direction and this turned this direction that fireplace is apparently not used very often and we don't want the smoke from this wood stove to end up going down that fireplace so that's why we're putting the cap two different directional caps on this um, we get a lot of wind from the ocean here and it's very likely that if there's a negative pressure in the house that want the smoke from the wood stove will go down the fireplace one it happens all the time uh, between fireplaces that's why if you light up the, the fireplace on the main floor often you'll find that you can smell smoke in the basement or in another room where another fireplace is so here the caps are on and this uh, big crown flashing works great here and it's right by the ocean with the big winds of course we repaired that uh, lid screwed it on and Put a little crown in there, a cap in the, in the flue so it doesn't bounce around in there. That's probably why it fell off in the first place. And as you see, it's got lots of room to vent and there's no competition for the, for the venting air. So, we're good. We're going to spray it with uh, a really good waterproofing now. And Roland will do that. And then we're done. Fabri, what's it called? Fabri, Fabri Shield. Yeah, and that keeps the water from soaking into the bricks, which allows the chimney to last much longer. Okay, we're finished this now. We've got the caps on. We don't normally put any glue on these ones at all, but in this case, we put a few dabs of this Tremco 830, uh, just because we're by the ocean. And now uh, we fixed that that uh, vent here as well, so that that's all still listed. I have this nice crown flashing and the separation in the in the vent. Roland's going to spray it with uh, a real stinky waterproofer now. That does a good job at keeping the water out. So here's Roland spraying that chimney with uh, Fabrazine. It's a very smelly waterproofer, but it does a really good job.